Hi, I'm Mark Lawson, Marketing Manager for Tahoe Suburban and Avalanche, and I'm here today with the brand new 2008 Tahoe Hybrid 2 mode. We're going to demonstrate how it operates, so let's go for a drive. First thing you'll notice when you start the vehicle, the engine will always come on, regardless of what the state of the charge is of the battery. But as soon as that battery realizes it can power everything without the engine on, it goes to the auto stop, and we're in that mode right now, so let's start to drive. And we'll accelerate under full battery power. And we're pointing uphill so the engine may come on sooner and it did. So we'll accelerate away. You'll see that's under hybrid power so both the electric motors and the engine is propelling the vehicle. Under certain driving conditions we want just engine power. That's the condition right now. There are times when those electric motors are actually a parasitic loss on the vehicle's performance. So we'll clutch those out completely and that's a benefit that the other hybrid systems in the marketplace currently don't offer. Now we're in four cylinder mode driving here and you'll see that the hybrid power is keeping that engine in four cylinder mode longer, providing better highway fuel economy. Now we're doing 50 miles an hour four cylinder mode, attacking about 1500 RPM, either under just engine conditions or engine and electric. Anytime the two systems are operating together, you'll see the display is, is now saying hybrid power. Now the other thing you'll notice is an economy gauge, it's got a needle pointing at 12 o'clock indicating you're operating in a very efficient manner. If you can keep that needle in the green position between 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock position, you're maximizing your fuel economy. Now if I take my foot off the gas, start to coast, we'll go into regenerative braking, actually taking all of this inertial energy that we've created, moving this mass, and recapturing it as electricity, using the motors, operating as generators, providing resistance to slow the vehicle, and at the same time, charging the battery pack so we can use that same electrical energy we just recaptured for the next acceleration cycle. You'll see that we're charging the, the batteries. I'm actually going to bring the vehicle to a complete stop without ever applying the foundation brakes. Those motors have that much resistive power to allow us to do that. Now we'll accelerate again. Now I'm going to give it a, a kick in the acceleration because you don't ever want to lose the performance of a full-size ute, so... So even though we offer great fuel economy, we also we don't take away any of the power that full-size utility owners are looking for. We have 300, over 330 horsepower, 300, over 360 cubic... Uh, foot-pounds of torque to take advantage of both hauling eight people, 108.9 cubic feet of cargo, and even a 6,000-pound trailer. 